Hi and welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm going to be reviewing Omamari by Hansen, Chen and Yao. Now before I do that I'm going to flounder around a little bit because I want to know how I sound, whether you can hear me, if everything's okay because um, I've just looked at my mic sound thing in front of me and it's just going up really high and it's making all sorts of noise. So if this has gone wrong, as it does about every 1 in 20, the sound goes cool. Uh, you can hear me. Great. Thank you very much. Um, so. And thank you, Michael. That's really helpful because there's nothing wrong. I always remember the horrific time I did uh, Cube Smith, and I, uh, <laughs> I did, I did a 20-minute rant, and I was thinking, I'm right on one here. I'm, I'm firing on all cylinders. And then looked at all the comments afterwards, and it was all like, we can't see you. You've gone. Where's he gone? And I wasn't there. So it, it's horror. So there you go. So I'm gonna um, talk about this in a minute. I hope you're all well, and um, thank you for all the support. The lovely comment on the last review. This is, oh yeah, I've got to, do the, got to do the stuff, right? So please like, please subscribe, please check out cardmagiccourse.com um, and that's what kind of, you know, is fueling the whole thing. So go and check it out, even if you're not going to sign up for it, have a look at it, read the blog on it. I've only got one blog on it so far, but um, look at it anyway, because then Google says, oh, people are looking at that, that's good, isn't it? And it goes at the rankings and I'm incredibly proud of it. Uh, I keep saying it's a great way to support the site, but that, it's not just a kind of token way to support the site. It's, a, it's an amazing course because I've spent years and years and continue to do it. I'm, I'm a bit biased, obviously, because it's mine and all that. Uh, but have a look at it. That'd be lovely. And if you like this sort of thing, um, share this, tell your friends about it. You know, if you've not been here before and you come across this later when you're not watching it live, um, this is a review show, but it's a bit more than that. I try and use it just to connect a little bit and also to talk about magic in general. So if something about the product sort of springs us into another discussion, that's a good thing. And hopefully we can all learn something by sort of, by, by sort of discussing it, I suppose. So um, this is an interesting one because this is something that I, um, I didn't know anything about. I love, I purposefully don't scour reviews. I don't really watch other reviews. I love David's reviews and I love um, the, uh, oh, what's the other one? Tyler, 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 God, Taylor's reviews, God, it's been one of them days. Uh, Tyler, isn't it? <laughs> so, so like, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I do know it's a mental block. It's age. It's an age thing, really. Look at the grey in that. Um, so I do, but I purposely don't watch them because what happens is subconsciously, if you watch, you start copying, getting ideas and stuff like that. And, and, um, and I watch them afterwards quite often. Uh, but um, I didn't know anything about this, and I love it. And when you open this you, and you don't know anything about it, it's great. So I, I, what I'll do is I'll do what I did last time. I'll play the trailer, uh, maybe stop and start it, uh, if there's anything that sort of springs, springs to mind. But I like to play the trailers when we do the live stuff because it kind of gives me a chance to kind of go, hang on, that's not true. If there's something a bit ropey in there that, that doesn't quite swear. And we all, you know, we all know that when you watch trailers and they're not true, it's so annoying when you get someone and realize they've hacked and cut stuff. So let's watch a trailer and I'll, uh, hopefully it'll work. There you go. So if you, hang on, so I didn't know So I didn't know what this the Amamori was, and the Amamori is a lucky charm. And it's, I know it's, it's very ignorant of me, but it's, um, I was reading up on it, and it's, uh, it's kind of like a fortune telling uh, linked with Buddhism. The Buddhists use it, and it's a, it's a, a, a lucky charm thing. So you can talk about fortune telling, uh, luck, and all that kind of stuff. So it lends it to a kind of storytelling uh, presentation. There, so we'll, and we'll go into that in a minute. But. It is something that will be recognised by certain people. When I saw it, I didn't know what it was and looked into it. And I know that's, great, like I said, it's very ignorant of me. Um, but just so you know, it, it's not just, if you haven't seen it, it's not like, what's that? It's, it is a thing. And a very cool thing, actually. When you look at it. And if you want, you can stand on a roof and do it, very importantly, but be very, very careful. And I didn't say that, because if you stand on any roofs and do it and you fall off, I get in trouble. So can I just say categorically that I'm not telling you to stand on a roof and do this. And actually, you'd have to get a spectator up there, which would be a terrible mess anyway. Don't, actually, don't. Don't stand on a roof and do it like he did. It's a bad idea. Hmm? <laughs> 
So importantly, this is the, re the revelation. All right. and, and when you saw her standing uh, with the thing on her finger, there's a presentation of this where it, it doesn't actually come off of that finger, which is really, really nice. So they're holding it. They give you a number or a picture of a symbol on it or something, and, and then you shine your phone on it and it, it arrives in there and it's kind of within the, the wooden block. So it's, it's got a kind of, dare I say it, very organic feel to it. Is it easy to reset? I'm buttoning in on purpose, by the way. You can watch your whole thing, watch it on the, just watch it on YouTube. Uh, is, just want to check that it is got a really, really easy reset and they give you some stuff to enable you to do that even more easily uh, in the box. Remind me in a minute, if I don't mention it, to talk about the, the fortune thing. Right, so there you go. So, a couple of things in that, that it showed you this whole transformation thing, and that's really in, there's some really interesting about the fact that you can actually have two different predictions in this in this uh, Obamori. And I'm going to take it apart now. Now I've removed purposely removed the little inlet that sort of gives you the download code now because I always uh, I'm terrible and I forget to have a look. Let's just see if this works. Yay! Right. So, I'll turn my phone over in case I get some tremendously embarrassing messages come through. Uh, this is what you get. And the Hansen Gem products. I've always got. I've also got Sonic Dice to um, uh, to review, and it, it's very good at packaging. And we've said it so many times. It's not the be all and end all in it, but you know when someone puts a bit of effort into it. I think this is around the forty five dollars mark. So when you spend that sort of money on this, it's nice to get something that is well packaged, and it's important for the, the thing getting to you as well. Um, so this is what you get. You get two of these. One of them is gimmicked and one of them is not. And the lovely thing is about it, when I, I got it and got these out, I didn't see any gimmick on any of them. I, to me, they were two bits of wood and I was quite interested to, to see what they did. And again, I purposely didn't play with it. It does say, you know, on the, I think it's on Sonic Dice, maybe on this as well. Don't start messing around with it before you watch the, um, watch the tutorial. But they just look like two wooden amamoris. And, and I think that's one of the things that is striking about this. I do love these kind of um, effects where you can't see what it is and you can't see any sort of it. It's, there's no other word, is there? It's organic, that's the best one. I know everybody says everybody says too much, but when you get a bit of wood that looks like the thing it's meant to be and it doesn't look like it, it's, you know, it sounds like it, looks like it, feels like it. So it feels like something solid and that makes it a little bit more impossible at the end. Um, it, he did mention that you, you can do the, um, the transformation on this. And if I, I don't even know what one is. Uh, the, by the way, the, the one that you hand out, the purpose of that is to is to be able to um, to give it out as well. But I don't really think you need to. So the point here, uh, can you see? There you go. So you see that you shine your, your phone through it, and there's a there's a happy face, and then there's a there's a sad face. Or the other way. Face is one actually a good idea to do. It's not. They're going to have to look a bit closer. Numbers and stuff is a lot better. Um, he does mention, funnily enough, he gets, these are forty-five four dollars, and at the end he's like, "If you want to give, uh, do these as a giveaway, you can buy extras." I'm sure, I'm sure that'd be lovely. If, if if you're paying me ludicrous amounts of money for the gig, I might consider it, but I don't think I'm going to be giving away too much of these. But what you can give away is what you get under here, which is nice. I always like it when there's a little secret compartment. Um, is you get this stuff. Uh, so you get some uh, alcohol pads, to, and that's all about the reset. Now one of the things about this, you're going to have to buy more of them, that's all I'll say. Uh, just little little rubs and stuff like that. You get some st the clear stickers to put on it to sort of protect it, uh, and you get some of these stickers if you want to make it like look authentic. Uh, these stickers can be drawn upon and wiped off to, again, protect it. It, does in, it did imply at the beginning that there was some sort of routine that was to do with that, but I didn't quite, um, quite get that. But anyway, that's all there if you want to kind of make it make it authentic. You, the idea is you put the pattern sticker on one side so you can do the, the prediction. You do get these and I think these are, these he said are for giveaways and they're fortunes and I think it's more culturally appropriate if you're somewhere where these are used a lot. In the UK they're not. Yes it's got a, a little prediction of the fortune and it adds a cute little thing uh, onto it if you do like a fortune telling routine but for me um, I, I think they're a nice little touch but I'm probably not going to use them. 
Now, is this a good routine? I think it is. I think it, the thing about it is, anytime you get something that has some meaning, and these do have, they pack meaning, especially if you explain what they are. Let me go in here. Uh, so they have meaning to them. They are built for a certain performance. Um, well, first of all, it's, is it magically good? Yes, it is. I think if you can see it, it's good. And, and the, the getting into it and getting out of it is going to feel a bit fiddly, but when you play with it a bit, and again, I can't really perform this properly because it involves handling and all that kind of stuff at the moment, and we are in lockdown in the UK at the moment. But I did, again, try and family members, and my son and my daughter and people will tell me if they see anything. That's the deal. I say, look, if you see anything, you've got to tell me. And they go, no, I didn't know how that was done. They, well, they didn't really care but they didn't see how it was done. Uh, <laughs> but that's family. Um, so I, I, I think magically it is very good. The fact you can change the fortune as well, and there are different ways of doing that. You can almost make it a physical change, but I think it's, it's not nice to do it in another, maybe another more subtle way to, to remove any idea of sleight of hand. Uh, it did surprise me how it was done, and I did think it was very clever. So magically you're, you're sorted, that box is ticked, and angles, you're kind of fine. You, are gonna, you aren't going to be able to do it completely surrounded because the way you do it, there's a kind of uh, mentalism uh, method in this that a lot of people will will know and use. And again, you, you, you it's not hard. It's really, really easy. And he goes through this in detail. I like the way that in the tutorial, there's a couple of things. He goes through it in detail and tells you how to make it more convincing when you do the, the actual workings of it. But he also talks about how it could be really illogical. You've got to be careful with how you do this. It could just be, what what's this? It's a thing. Yeah, I said a thing and it's there. And he's very kind of into, like, um, I think it's Sean, Sean Chow was talk, is talking about it as well, but they all are talking about how important it is. And they go into the detail and the performance of this. This is, this is sorry. what... sorry. <laughs> my watch just said to me, I'm sorry. I am too. I'm, I am too. Um, would you put it in the act? Uh, yeah, I, w I would put it in an act. And that's a good, Tom, it's a good question. Um, I think this is for certain types of act and performance. If you were to rock up, kind of like a wide boy in a suit and go, here's me old memory, yeah, you know, have a number, there it is, wee. You know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you, it's, a kind of, it's a Jeff McBride trick. And I don't think you'll mind me saying that, you know, is that one of the quotes is from Max Maven. And it's a me trick, because I am very interested in Buddhism. I am very interested in the spiritual side of things. And I've actually got a show at the moment called The Magic of Now, which is looking at the more spiritual side of things and, and kind of how, you know, how, how we can be in the now and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not saying religious, I'm saying spiritual, two very, very different things, but you can use them for either, of course. Um, but I, it does suit me and my storytelling and it will suit other people in their storytelling, but it won't suit other people. You've got to think about where this goes. So Tom, would you put it in an act, a certain act? Yes, I would. And actually the act I'm working on now, it may fit there, but it is a small trick. So unless you've got cameras and stuff, it is a close-up trick, really. And I think that's what it's for. Yes, you could do it in public, you could do it on stage with big cameras, but I think the close-up, the, the way they see it uh, in there is really important. So I like it. I think it's really unique. I think it's really interesting. It's a, it's a really unique way of, of, of doing a, um, that kind of mentalism that, doesn't, that isn't just a billet. You know, it's kind of a, it's an alternative to a billet. Um, and I, I think, I mean, a lot of Hanson Chen stuff is imaginative. It does... It does um, it does look authentic, doesn't it? I mean, that roller coaster thing, he took something that didn't look real and made it look look really real, and, and, and he's, he, he's got his eye on, he knows what's right. But, you know, I'm not saying I love all of his stuff, but I think it's, it's an interesting one. And I think if you like that effect, you're not going to be disappointed with what you get in this. Just buy yourself some more alcohol wipes and you'll be all right. Right, uh, if there's no questions, I'll crack on. Let's have a look. Uh, you've got another 10 seconds to ask me a question. Uh, I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything else we've got to think about. But do like, subscribe, check out carbmagiccourse.com and, um, and have a great one. No more questions, so I'll see you later. Take care, everybody. Where's my mouse gone? Oh, God. There it is. Bye.